Let's get in there. Guess I'll try a vamp shroud. I'll just try a tank build on him. See how that feels. This is a nerf celestial though. Could go his item, Jade Emperor's crown. Could be nice. I've seen a little bit of this character. Oh, I should have gone TP. What am I doing? I'll just get this one. Oh, I didn't. I forgot about the minion soups. No problem. Actually, it didn't matter too much because of the burn damage. This blue clear is pretty atrocious, though. I guess it's because Vamp Shroud only has 20 power on it now. You only get 30 power from this start. Ooh, that is bad. They really gutted Vamp Shroud, didn't they? Do you immune the slow? Is there a slow on it? Is that what he immune? Because I was about to say, he can't immune the root. Just knock up immune and slow immune now on that. Is there just a slow on this? Evil cannot hide from my all-seeing gaze. Yeah, it does. Pretty sure that three is like peach. Oh, what the? That was weird. He tried to knock me up, I think. Can't do that anymore. Oh my god, what an epic battle. So you can root to set up your one. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool. I should have gotten Death Toll, maybe. Death Toll might not be too bad on this character. Especially because... Oh, I mean to do that. Especially because it would actually give me some decent power. I'm like Vamp now. Wait, his dog was on fire too? Wait, really? That's weird. Is that always how it's been with Erling? When he's affected by something? If I three, I probably drop the camp. <laughs> Not sure, Arthur. I haven't really been interested in it. Oh, I knocked him up. Knocked him up. Is this passive something I'm actually gonna even like think about, or is it just another passive where I kind of passively get it? <laughs> if I hit five here, do I kill? Wait, what? Huh? I didn't know it worked like that. I thought it it traveled with me. That was weird. I like how the two like effects is it's kind of cool it's like a quick charge up like a freaking a ray gun was that crypto it does seem kind of like it but It doesn't seem like you get very far with your three, yeah. It's more of like an immunity thing. Oh, there's a Shiba there. Wait, what? Oh, 
Victory. I just float down. Isn't that like Peach in uh, Super Smash? Am I wrong? Oh! Speed hack. He just speed hacked out of there. <laughs> That's exactly what it's like. Imagine if you could go Oboe on this character with the passive. Some synergy there. That too is just a cool ability. I will be honest. Can you go over things with this? Nope. I mean, it's instant, so it's instant immunity, so that's always good, but... This character is a mage, yes. Thank you, JDM. That means a lot, man. I, d I don't understand how the ult works. Like, it just feels weird. I thought I knew how it worked, and then I started using it, and now it feels really weird. I'm just trying to use it to see how it, how it works, but I don't know. I feel like the ult is horrible. I don't know how I'm supposed to hit it. I mean, except for like off of CC, but... Lang would have killed me there. I don't know if he would have killed me, but. Ult's coming back up. Here we go. Here we go. Maybe if I can root him and then ult. What was that? Okay. That ult did nothing. Oh, what the? I feel like my ult didn't do anything there. That's a lot of damage. Alright, no problem. It's okay. I mean, I'm too far. Well, I was about to say I'm not building damage, but I do have like a decent amount of power. It's not like in mid I'd have much more power. If I had a red buff and like two flat pen items, I'd have over 200 probably, but not like uh, probably. Of course, I'd have over 200. I'd have like 270, but still, it wouldn't hit very hard at all. He doesn't even have defense. For a second, I thought he had defense because it was like it didn't. It looked like it didn't even affect him. Get my Dow up. As other magical characters with a uh, with this build against the Erling who didn't have magical defense, I would just kind of farm him. 
Oh, that's really not too bad. That that combo is actually pretty good damage. That that's pretty good. My ult was off the mark again though. I don't know. It's it's such a hard ability to use. When I was watching the God reveal, it seemed pretty easy, but trust me, for anybody watching right now, if this is a YouTube video or what. Even that's kind of hard to use. Oh, I threed that. Okay, it's not as instant as I thought it would be, unless the server's laggy. Because I definitely threed the uh, ability there. Dude, people were roasting me the other day in my YouTube comments. You guys out there, because I said that Blink-182 is one of my favorite bands of all time, calling me a normie. And it's so troll because, like, I Blink-182 is like a, a band I grew up on, like, before they were, like, really big. And, like, nowadays, I, I feel like the people calling me normies are people that, like, are, like, 15-year-olds who just know Blink-182 because of it, their popularity at this point. And they think that it's, like... I don't know. It's like telling somebody who like grew up in the the 60s and their favorite uh, artist is Elvis. It's like telling them they're a normie just because Elvis was a, a popular artist. You know what I mean? And if we're talking about one of my favorite bands of all time, then yeah. Like that's got to be one of them. See, that's pretty decent. That's pretty decent combo right there. If I hit him with my root and then get him in the one, like, it's not too bad. Booties are a little bit slow, though. Wee! <laughs> this character has no threat on you anymore. Without his knockup. And then I feel bad. If I try and walk up with the ability, it, it doesn't even work. So I have to like instantly launch it and it's never going to hit. Maybe if I just build a... Auto attack on this character. Maybe that's how he needs to be played. Actually cancel that. We're kind of just two bad characters hitting each other, aren't we? The character needs Frostbound or Hastened. Whee! Oh, you can just click three again and you'll fall. I wonder if that means the people under you will get hit by the damage. Slash the knockup. It only knocks up if you have enough Dow, right? Oh, Curses. You should also probably just be two and out of base to gather Dow. If that's how that works. Come on, boys. I feel fast. Oh, it's from the thing. Oh, I messed that up. That one didn't quite hit. Nice. That was some decent damage. Maybe he just needs damage. He's impossible to play as a tank. <laughs> oh, I Goomba stomped him. Like, that ability. Am, I think maybe I'm missing something. Am I missing something? His animations are cool, and his art's cool, and his 2 is really fun. I like this 2 a lot. It's a fun ability to just use. The dragons are wider when you have Dao. Oh, really? 
Oh, it's increased by 50%. Mm. I don't know how much that'll help. That's pretty cool. And then I lost my Dao again. It's so weird. Maybe you just want to use that after. <laughs> yeah, they did. Guess I'll just rotate here. Actually, I'll do this. Definitely feels bad having to sit. I mean, you don't have to, but if you want your Dao. <laughs> okay. The auto attack on bats. Let's try Destol in on auto attack on him next game. Might be nice. Yeah, up to you, Ruklav. I mean, people do have bad times on the on the weekends, but my abilities definitely feel better the more power I have. That is very apparent. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, shoot, the immunity. And I can't use it into a wall. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I didn't really do a lot of damage though. I have points in it and that guy doesn't have any defense and I hit him for like 350. Kind of weird. I'm just gonna go voids down here. Go a bit of a bruiser build. Probably go Rata Tahiti last item and get Blood Soak Shroud. Maybe new power and I made Oh, that's so funny. I can't go through the door. And since I'm above the button, I'm not hitting it. Here I come, boys. Here comes Peach. Oh, I didn't hit him with the root somehow. That would have hit him. I don't think it would have killed, but... I can look above the battlefield to see my my enemies like Yorm. All right, let's let's attack middle lane here and all die. I hope we all die here. Bring him to Tronga. I kinda. I don't think he's much of a battle mage. Trunk is more of a battle mage. This one is a pretty short cooldown, so... Definitely similar, similar in that regard. And you're also not damage immune in your three. You're just untargetable. So if somebody has like a Zeus thing on you, his Zeus charge on you and you go into the air and he detonates, you will die. If you're low enough, obviously. You'll take the damage, what I'm saying. Alright, we got the Blood Soak Shroud. Blood Soak Shroud will definitely get some value on him. A bunch of AoE abilities. Low cooldowns. Like, it sucks I can't go over this wall. I feel like maybe it should go... Do a little bit of a leap. Yeah, yeah. A banish, a self banish.
So do I have my AoE autos here? Yeah, okay. So there's actually some synergy there. That's kind of cool. So you don't want to use your one after you two on camps and stuff because, you know, you just charge your DAO. And you don't want to waste on your one, ideally before a fight. So you can actually just auto him down for the AoE. So that's kind of nice. Because if I use my one now, watch, my DAO is going to be taken. Since I had enough, I still have the pass dot AoE uh, auto or whatever, but... Like, if I want to use it for a knockup, like this. Oh, I missed. I hit those. And then I just use it all. Okay. Let me try again. Oh, you can't. You actually can't charge it that much. You can't charge it all the way to full from zero. Good to know. Trying this garbage god? I actually don't think he's that garbage. I think his ult is really bad, but... Let's see, how does that not hit? Oh! And it didn't even hit that hard. And he's really not that tanky. <laughs> Look at this monkey. Monkey Doobie's hitting fast. Alright, let's see. Let's get my Dao up real quick. And let's try and knock up somebody with my three. Razy, thank you for the 20 months in a row, dude. Welcome back to the Father family. Sound bats is cracked. Knock him up! Oh, come on. Let me try. Get my down back up. It's damage test. Uh, it wasn't that bad, I guess. They are very under leveled, though. Oh, they are definitely too under leveled. That's the only reason it did decent damage. I, uh, I shouldn't have let this guy play. He has a bad name. I should have known. Although I didn't see it. Should pull him in on the fountain with the other dragon? Oh, I guess you can do that. Yeah. Interesting. GG though, 20k damage. It gives you 35 power and Bam Shroud only gives you 20. Oh my goodness. That is a big difference. Who am I against? Tyr or Cthulhu? Dude, 60 power from this start versus 30 from the last start. And I'm probably going to heal a lot more from this as well. Let's go TP. I don't think it should slide, or I don't think Death Soul should multi proc. With the AoE autos, it's just like a uh, an oboe, so I doubt it procs stuff like Death Toll, Demonic, Telekines. It could, though, and if it does, then it he might be an auto attack character. I'm gonna try getting my two so I can get my Dao up for AoE autos. This might be smart. Maybe not though. Oh, this was smart. This was smart. This was smart. Think? I think it is double proccing. Yeah, it is double proccing. Okay, it does double proc. Or is it? I just hit the tower with my AoE auto. That's pretty good. Oh, he's got Warrior's Axe through and Voidstone, no wonder. How do you have 60 power? Because Death Soul gives you 35 magical power and 20 physical power because it's kind of broken. And then, 
Tier 1 ring gives me 25. Could maybe go for that blue, but I don't. I think bad things may happen to me. <laughs> Trying to get my AWE autos here. I didn't even think about that, but yeah, maybe grabbing the two level ones to play just for the Dow. Yeah, well, Vampshard in general just kind of in a bad spot now. Vampshard Celestial builds just probably not it anymore. This is kind of unfortunate. Kind of just another stomp. It's looking like. Oh, get baited. I wonder if you can even ult to clear waves. Okay, kinda. I'm gonna head off for now. I can give a stream. Thank you, Jiggy. Appreciate you, dude. Catch you later. Enjoy your Easter Sunday. Jungle still running around, snowballing. Okay. Just a second back. These rings are so expensive. Didn't they nerf the rings too? <laughs> Why did they do that? Oh yeah, good call, good call. One or two do more damage? I actually don't know. Oh, okay! Some old value! And I had Dao there, so I think that's why it was easier to hit. I mean, if somebody's like right here, the one does more damage, especially if it's get like on a wave or something when they sit in the thing, but... Oh, I almost got it. But the two, I think, does some good burst damage. Allies have been slain. Nice. I'm not going to be able to get to my blue. Kind of forgot. Man's hit ult does damage, more to 11. Okay, well I hit the ults before and they weren't really doing any damage. What's the ring rework just made me a better jungler? That'd be so funny. But also sad. Oh, that's unfortunate. I have my Dao for my knockup. You guys like that little knock-up? Oh, I should have kept hitting him. I thought I saw an ethel, but I wasn't <laughs> sure. I like that I don't lose Dao for using my one if I don't have it like full. Like his like Cupid stacks. Like when you ever, whenever you heart bomb, but you're not full stacks, you just lose your stacks. Kind of sucks. It's not the case with this.
Hit him with the knockup. Oh my god, I'm dead. I ulted that, but it didn't go off. If I had Dao there, I could have knocked him up and I would have killed. <laughs> Stand your ground. They have shell? <laughs> What's he doing? See, but I can't catch up to him. He's back up, so we're chilling. On my way. Attack. And when you have Dao, your one. I don't know if your one does extra damage. Oh, it reduces their pros. Am I gonna die to this? I'm dying to this. Yeah, that's really not too much magical prompt shred. I can afford Toxic Blade, so I'm gonna go it. Because Toxic Blade's OP. I'm coming. I guess I'll just do these mids. Ooh. <laughs> ah! Unfortunately, I'm not even gonna get that wave. Nice blink fearless. Yeah, I agree with that, Christian. That'd be a nice buff instantly. Set up an ambush here. As Set up an ambush here. I'll grab some wards. And three out of base. Get my Dao up. Should definitely just be two in when you're walking out of base and all that jazz. An enemy has been slain. Perfect. Keep it quiet. On my way. Oh, it's too bad. What the hell is happening? My autos are so desynced. No, I ulted that! Oh, I'm, I'm lagging. Right when I enter the mid lane, my autos just started lagging. Classic. <laughs> okay. 
You definitely want to max your two if you're playing a mono attack, I think. For like your landing phase and stuff, so that you're not tempted to use your one. Because you probably don't want to use it that often. So you can keep your Dao up without having to... If you just two every wave before you clear and poke them, then you're just going to have your Dao, Dao up a lot. Erling jungles not bad now. Still good. Dow. JP. Well, I don't know what they're called. Attuned. Well, if they're attuned, master of the Dow. And like in the abilities, it says if the ability's attuned. Oh, it's procking off the tower. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Put him in combat. Oh, that's so close. Time to get the telekines. Yo, Shiny, thanks for Twitch Prime sub, dude. Welcome to the Ponzo family. Telekines isn't double procking. But yeah, this is PTS. Or is it? I don't know. It's hard to tell sometimes. Oh, it definitely is. into the tower. Oh my god. Curses. That is unfortunate. Erling is better now, 41% damage mitigations. Uh, well, one is damage reduction, the other one's damage mitigation. So not exactly, but I wouldn't say that necessarily means he's better because he no longer can burst people, really. Doesn't do as much damage and he can't knock people up, so it's not as threatening, but he's definitely going to be better as a tank. But at the same time, in Smite, just being tanky isn't really good enough. And I don't know if he has enough CC to really back it up, you know? And Smite, you need to be able to threaten people. Do enough damage. Let's go, uh, Nimble Ratatouille. That's just how, that's just how, like, tanks and Smite have always worked. And if you're not able to threaten people with your damage, then, uh, you just aren't really viable as a soul laner. Maybe as a support, but I don't think he has enough CC. But the thing is, I think he, he might still be okay as a a jungler. I don't know. Maybe not. I, even though all the things I just said, it wouldn't be good for jungle. It just seems like you might be able to run at people early game with your one and mannequins and stuff. And like, they won't be able to do anything about it. 
I literally three that. The three is not instant, so I thought it was. But it is definitely not. So. Yeah. I think this character isn't very good. That's okay. They could do some stuff to him to, to make him good, I think. Some easy things. Yeah, this is story so far, Lemon Pickles. No, it's not that he doesn't do damage with his abilities. Like, you still hit, like, decently hard. It's just about sticking to people. Like, I don't know if you watched the last game I played, but I played this character into an Erling, and he would pin me, and... And then after he'd pin me, he'd, like, auto me, and, like... I could just kind of walk away. Or he would taunt me, and then try and do something off of his taunt, and it just really... It's just not that threatening. You kind of just walk away. My arrows just don't hit very hard. Good TP there. I'm just gonna farm a little bit. Yeah, they got rid of Erling's knock up. No longer has a knock up. You know what would make this character OP instantly? Is if you gave him Hasa Katana back on his mink. With his new kid, if he had Katana hastened on his his mink, <laughs> he'd be broken. I was about to say, their whole team is here, aren't they? Hey, I hit him with my ult. Somebody. <laughs> All five of them are there, bro. Yeah, it is true, Christian. Yo, go in, crab. You don't wait. Oh my god, this ball is gonna kill everybody. Pentakill! Oh no, they took it. Took his Penta. No, you're not, Ronin. You can, oh, you might be- actually, you might be abusing him when he's released, Ronin. As in, when you play against him, you'll just beat him. <laughs> and run him down. <laughs> Fair enough, Eric. Good. Oh, there's little small guys now on this, and Green's worth more. It's an interesting change. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing, Matty Ark. Ow.
You'd think I'd get some movement speed in that. Yeah. Thanks, Okage. Uh, hard to say with just two games, Whack, but... Sadly, I don't even know if I want to play another game of him. I think he's probably, uh... Right now... Again, I've only played two games, so I don't want to say for sure, but preliminary thoughts. I'll say, wait, give me a T, give me a TP. <laughs> I should have got the voice back. Oh, um, I want to say three out of ten. Oh, what the? That didn't hit. Oh, no. We're so fast. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so even though he's a 3 out of 10, I can give like 4 things to make him instantly a lot better. Anyway, uh, I think a few things you could do to him to make him instantly a lot better are make his three instant. Definitely make his three instant so you can actually just instantly like get in the air and immune things. Um, make his ult uh, maybe just the the big um, the big form of it all the time. You could always that. And then, um... Um... I would say make him use less Dao when he threes and when you won. Instead of using half of it, I think maybe... Because realistically, it's pretty impossible for me to get my knock up on people. Like, I mean, I got it there, obviously, but... Yeah, it's kind of weird, Mwak. Definitely buff the ult damage a bit. I think if you did all four of those things, he'd actually be a pretty good character. Oh. I am somehow top damage, but... His 1-2 combo, or 2-1 combo, actually does pretty good damage, so... Don't need to buff that or do anything but Oh
That just did a thousand damage to me. Brady, thanks for the 55 months in a row, dude. Welcome back to the Fonzo family. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. He got both hits of the damage there. How did he do that? What just happened to me? No float of the kit? That's not true. This kit does have a... Uh, does have float to it. For sure. I disagree with that. Thank you for the 55 months though, Verdant. Vapor. Fearless. Vapor as they used to call him. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Welcome back to the Fonzo family. Thank you, thank you. Is A build just a meme? This is my second game ever on him, so... I'm just testing stuff out, Clout. Uh, sheep. You know? Everything I... This will assist me in my... Nothing is really set in stone with the character. Approximate timed out Christian. Oh my goodness. JP, can you time out Christian for 10 minutes? After he says a good opinion. Or says his own opinion. Yeah, Christian, I'm sorry. I do so little damage. Don't leave, Christian. Come back. <laughs> 10 minutes. It's 10, JP. Does it say 3? Should be 10. And then Rockwell's timed out approximate. Deserved? It definitely deserves. After you banished Christian. Goodbye, approximate. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. No, he doesn't feel like he is who he... This is just my second game on him. I'm just trying out stuff. But he doesn't have an auto attack focus. How did I just get an invite? I'm literally in a game. That's not good. I'm just trying out stuff, though. He definitely does not feel like an auto attack mage, though. Oh, the other buff I was think considering is making his three go over walls. Like, just a small leap. I think if you made his three... Go over walls, just like small walls, you know? Doesn't have to be a big leap. Um, made it so it takes a little bit less Dao. Make his ult always have the, the wider range with the dragons. And uh, made his three instant. I think he'd be a decent character. He's CC immune during it, Pete. Look, you're CC immune the whole time. I mean, I guess they could take that out if they wanted to, if they made it a leap, but... That's a good question, Flame, Flame Lost. It probably doesn't. Tranquility. I think I have to hit a total of 100 autos on this guy to kill him. See, I don't want to use my one because I'm going to waste my Dao. And I want my AoE autos. That definitely feels bad. Got dueling dragons. So that's kind of... I mean, it's mainly because I'm just an AoE... Or I'm an auto attack... Uh, build. If I wasn't an auto attack build, then I'd want to use my one a lot, but... Since I'm an auto attack build, I don't want to. I want to keep my Dao up. I do kind of dislike that his ult feels like a chore bolt, though. I feel like he could have done some pretty cool stuff with dragons and stuff. Yo, Finer Toaster, thanks for the thousand biddies. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. 
I'll probably tell all these things to high res though. <laughs> I did do top damage somehow.